Hey everyone, welcome to Matthew's Minute. 60 seconds of the best five minutes of news and memories and information conveniently packed into eight to 10 short minutes of time-wasting nonsense. This month in the news, the book How to Eat Your Christmas Tree is selling fast on Amazon. Make sure to pick yours up soon. They're bound to go fast. Uh, ever wondered what it's like to eat pine branch stew? Or maybe have you wondered what it's like to eat a pine cone? Well, I have. And now that I have this book, I no longer have to wonder. It also makes a great gift for those individuals having a birthday in May. It says here, step one, find pine cone. Sweet. Uh, step two, eat pine cone. In other news, uh, the search for Bigfoot, as always, continues and has officially gained traction in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, tourism officials in Oklahoma have opened a regulated hunting season for Sasquatch. Uh, in fact, there is a $25,000 prize for anyone who can apprehend the creature. There's just one catch. You gotta bring him in alive. Good one. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Uh, in my new segment called Useless Facts to Lay Awake and Worry About, or Ooft Lawa, for those of you who might be in a hurry, uh, the average human will spend approximately three hours of their lifetime waiting for ketchup to fall from a glass bottle. I don't know about you guys, but I firmly believe that root beer tastes better coming out of a can than it does a plastic bottle. But does ketchup really taste that much better coming out of a glass bottle? Do you have to have it? I mean, really, you're, you're rewarded for your virtuous patience with uh, ketchup. Um, pro tip, it's not 1947 anymore. For sure, go with the squeeze bottle, huh? For those movie buffs out there, uh, the 1991 blockbuster film Hook, uh, starring Robin Williams, uh, features a scene in which a random pirate is selected uh, uh, by Captain Hook to be put in a wooden box full of scorpions as punishment for some trumped-up charge. Um, that particular pirate is played by Glenn Close. She was hiding in plain sight the whole time. Dang. This changes everything I know. It's so good. On to some memories. Um, I got yet another one from Camus. Uh, it's a short one. Sorry, I got to get these out of the way, but uh, I'm sure there'll be plenty more. Um, but uh, all of my uncles and my dad would go outside in the backyard and play a little backyard golf um, back behind the house on the property there. Um, it wasn't traditional golf. It was more of just grab whatever two or three clubs were sitting in the garage and, and head out. Uh, it's it very much a, uh, you know, who can hit the third fence post from the left kind of thing, um, you know, aiming at sheds and tires and coops and barrels and whatever else was laying around out there, including the broad side of the barn that sat just uh, south of the house there across the, uh, across the road. Um, it was way more fun to watch them play than it was to actually play, not to mention I was tiny, but uh, uh, those guys were really good golfers, so it was a ton of fun. Um, like I don't remember if it was my dad or maybe one of my uncles, but somebody hit a tractor tire from like 80 yards on the first shot. Um, it, awesome. Every time it was, it was great when those shots would happen. First, you'd have the swing and then there would be the silence. And then way off in the distance, you'd hear it. And then everyone would just erupt in laughter. Um, man, it was so much fun to watch. You taste the vitamins. But because they used only a couple clubs between the four of them, um, they would have to uh, throw them <laughs> really hard back and forth to each other. Um, I think the scientific term is called the underhanded huck. For that, to just let it release. I mean... An expertly hucked six iron is a thing of beauty, um, you know, but let me tell you, that thing is sharper than Willem Dafoe's cheekbones, and it's coming in with some steam. 
the guys would, they would all do a pretty good job of warning us, you know, heads up and, you know, this and that. But uh, it was like eight of us kids running around there, little kids. And so the word of warning sometimes fell on deaf ears. I mean, no fault of the guys. I just wasn't paying attention. You know, off in the distance, I'd kind of somehow hear like, heads up, butch. And uh, I'd be over here daydreaming with my cowlick, you know, thinking like, I wonder what black starburst would taste like. And then right next to me, thud would hit. And then off in the distance, I'd hear, pay attention, butch. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Could have been bad. Anyway, I always really enjoyed watching the guys golf. Um, you know, not knowing at the time how special it was, at least for me and my memories, I feel for my younger siblings and cousins who weren't out there for that. It's just a fun memory. But uh, I loved the love that my uncles had for each other. And I loved to watch just them being the silly geese that they were. Um, you know, watching them golf was always a highlight of our trip, you know, during those visits to Camas. You know, when the guys said they were going to go out and golf, all the kids got up and went outside. You know, it was, it was fun. Um, it always reinforced the notion that sometimes in life you just got to keel the ball uh, with a smile, of course. Uh, anyone else notice this long gray hair right here the whole time I've been talking? Pretty gross. Happy birthday month to Kale, Jake, my girl Kaya, uh, and of course our sweet Anna. We sure miss her. Um, and happy uh, Mother's Day month to all of you awesome moms out there. Uh, I'm married to one, and uh, she's amazing. Uh, you guys are all truly a blessing in our lives, and we would all certainly be lost without you. Um, I would definitely be lost without you. I don't know where I'd be. Just so lost. <laughs> uh, in memory of Anna this month, uh, I'd like to recommend the song Dolphins Cry by the band Live. Um, I have a very vivid memory of sitting in Terry's living room in Spring City, uh, listening to Anna... Uh, sing the lyrics of this song. Um, this would have been right after the song came out, maybe 98, 99. Um, every single time I hear that song, it reminds me of Anna and makes me happy. Um, Terry, Erica, Josh, and to the rest of the Martindale crew, uh, we love you guys, um, and uh, you're in our thoughts and prayers every day. Love you.